hello friends welcome back with new session so let me show you what we are gonna make today I just make a multi-site browser here you can say it's a multi-site browser I write mall shooting game and set to go here you can see there are three different tabs you can add many more tabs as you want here is showing the result in Google and here is showing the result of same query or text in YouTube and here is showing the result in Bing it would be useful for some programmer or video editor or any other who want to compare some results on different browser so without wasting time start it hello friends welcome back now with new session we gonna make multi-site browser it would be useful without wasting time so let's see how we gonna make that I already open Visual Studio and Windows Form application now to make a responsive layout I draw a table I write once more and remove the column all right now this here I view the drop panel box okay I don't need that in the panel box I'll put one text box to write the URL address I need tab control Okay, I put the tab control in this. Move it there. Now, now I need buttons I named it to go I'll make three of copies and then rename it to go forward I'll use this sign to go backward I'll use this sign and to refresh I'll use this sign alright I'll place this button these buttons like that okay now what I need to do I'll put this panel box in that first layout now I click that 
and select dock property to fill all right now i click that and select dock property to fill where is the dock property um dock dog to fill okay now I need to add one more tab now let's change the name of tabs to change the name of tab I'll go to I'll go to collections here is the tab page one I name it Google YouTube and Bing okay now you can see now let's go to the web browser toolbox and we will drag it the web browser here it is the web browser i'll draw a web browser a web browser A web browser okay now let's start the program without coding how our layout look like so here is the layout of our program okay now let's go to coding part I'll go to go button coding session here all right web browser one dot navigate to now in this session what we're gonna check is I'll show you something how Google will find out and you can directly write the address to search any of the query And you can similarly add any of the websites to this particular software or a tool. Hi Google. I don't know why the browser is too slow. Here you can see when I write hello, here is this address. I'll copy this. I'll show you there if I remove hello from the address bar and write what you want. So it's showing me the result of what you want. So I need to change out the address with my text bar. I remove what you want from there and write 
plus text box one dot text. All right. Thank you. Now let's see the demo. Yeah, right. What you want? And type go. Here you can see Google showing the result of the query what you want. Okay. Now now similarly web browser two dot navigate. Now I need to copy the URL of YouTube. I write what you want. I copy this code. Copy. Go there paste it remove what you want and plus text box one dot text now similarly go to bing.com here I write uh, nice video I'll copy this card I'll cut it, copy this code, web browser 3 dot navigate, remove nice video and here text box one dot text now see all right mall shooting game maximize it i'll write mall shooting game and press go now you will see all of them are showing me the result of mall shooting game so you can multi you can add multiple sites and browse them with writing one of the query this one is also of my channel video you should view this you'll enjoy it so let's complete our program. I make it refresh go forward by similar this coding
you can do whatever you want so hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, it would be useful some of the programmers so they can navigate and uh, compare the results on different sites so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe please